Can you ride an electric bike in winter? With the right preparation and mindset, e-biking in winter can be an exciting experience that can redefine your relationship with both cycling and the season. In this video, I will guide you through everything you need to know about riding your electric bike in the snow and cold, how to winterize your bike and how to gear up for the chill. So prepare your e-bike and get ready to explore the wonders of winter cycling. As temperatures drop, the battery begins to show signs of strain. Cold weather is known to affect the chemical processes inside the battery, leading to a reduced ability to hold charge. This can significantly cut down your e-bike's range, demanding more frequent recharges or the need for a backup battery. The interaction between your e-bike's tires and the winter terrain is another critical factor. Snow and ice drastically reduce traction, making your regular tires less effective. This lack of grip not only makes it harder to pedal, but also increases the risk of slips and falls. The response of your brakes also changes in the cold. Hydraulic brakes in particular may become less responsive as the fluid inside them thickens and brake cables can stiffen, which can affect braking efficiency. Lastly, winter roads often come with their own set of challenges, including salt and grit. These elements, while helpful for melting snow and ice, can be corrosive to your e-bike's components. As you can see, there are quite a lot of challenges when it comes to riding an electric bike in winter. Next, let's see what we can do to make our e-bike more winterproof. The battery is the powerhouse of your electric bike and it needs special gear during winter. First of all, keep it warm. This doesn't mean overheating it, but rather shielding it from extreme cold. You can use a thermal cover or simply store the battery indoors when not in use. If your bike has a removable battery, then always charge it indoors. You should never charge the battery if the temperature is below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. Even if you are not using your e-bike as frequently, keep the battery charged. A battery left discharged for long periods, especially in the cold, can suffer from reduced capacity. Another important factor in winter riding is the tire choice. If you're fortunate to have a fat bike with 4-inch wide tires, you're already a step ahead. However, standard mountain bike knobby tires or city tires with light treads may struggle with traction in the snow. Snow tends to back into the treads, reducing their grip. Fat tires, on the other hand, have a larger contact area with the ground and therefore better stability. To enhance the stability even more, you can experiment with the tire pressure. The lower pressure makes the contact area even bigger. If there's a chance of encountering ice underneath the snow, studied fat tires are your best bet. The studs provide additional grip on icy surfaces, making your winter rides safer. But even with fat tires or studied tires, the stability is so much worse than on dry terrain, which means you have to be extremely careful. Another problem you have to take care of in the winter is exposing your e-bike to salt and moisture, which can lead to corrosion. Here's how to protect your e-bike from these elements. Number one, after every winter ride, especially on salted roads, give your e-bike a thorough cleaning. Secondly, I suggest using a protective spray. Applying a bike-specific protective spray can create a barrier against moisture and salt. Thirdly, lubricate moving parts. Regular lubrication of the chain and gears is crucial in winter. Number four, dry your e-bike properly. After cleaning, make sure your e-bike is completely dry before storing it. 
use a clean cloth to wipe down all surfaces. Now, we know how to winterize your e-bike. It's time to winterize yourself. Sometimes I have cut corners and made some rides without gloves and a scarf. The cold pinch is so hard and I have learned my lessons. Dress in layers to manage body temperature effectively. Start with moisture wicking base layer to keep sweat away from your skin. Add an insulating middle layer for warmth. Top it off with a windproof and waterproof outer layer to protect against the elements. Then you need head and air protection. A significant amount of body heat is lost through the head, so wear a thermal hat and tube scarf. A regular scarf works too. Next, I wear warm winter bands and waterproof boots. Cold and wet feet can make a winter ride miserable. So we want to avoid that. And don't forget the most important item, a helmet. While most cycling helmets provide basic protection, the ideal choice for winter is one that offers extensive coverage. This is where considering full-face biking helmets or even motorcycle helmets can be a wise decision. These helmets not only safeguard your head, but also shield your face, playing a dual role in safety and warmth. In winter conditions, the likelihood of slipping and falling increases significantly, regardless of the type of snow or the e-bike you ride. The key to a safe and enjoyable ride lies in adapting your techniques to handle the slippery terrain and the cold efficiently. The trick to maintain balance on snow and ice is to keep your movement smooth and gradual. Avoid sudden turns or jerky movements. Slowing down is crucial on icy surfaces. Give yourself plenty of time and space to stop, as braking distances can significantly increase on slippery terrain. Use both brakes gently and evenly to avoid skidding. If you start to slide, ease off the brakes until you regain the traction. Then brake again gently. Riding an electric bike during the winter months can be a uniquely enjoyable experience. With the right preparation and techniques, you can safely navigate the challenges of cold, snow and ice. Remember, the key to a successful winter ride lies in winterizing your e-bike, dressing appropriately for the cold and adjusting your riding style to the conditions. So, gear up, prepare your e-bike and enjoy the ride. With the right approach, winter might just become your favorite e-biking season.